There we go. And I'm going to share my screen with you. Great. And we'll start. Actually, um, let me just minimize that. There we go. So uh, we're going to start by, uh, I just want to refer you to this um, table of standard leads. It's in the, on this uh, website, my website, bridgecast.co.uk slash handouts. And if you're unfamiliar with uh, any standard leads, have a look at that. This is a table you should memorize. And we're going to look at some additional leads to this involving leading the king against no Trump. So the topic today is leading a king against a no Trump contract. And we're going to start off by looking at these kinds of holdings where you have some kind of sequenced two cards or three card sequence. And I'm going to actually start this session with a poll of two questions. So let me launch the poll and see uh, what you think. There are actually two questions here. So you may need to scroll down to see the second one. So the first one says against three no Trump, which card would you lead? from King, Queen, 10, 7, 6. And the second question where you need to scroll down is which card would you lead if you had King, Queen, 7, 5, 4? So have a go at those two questions. As I say, you may need to scroll down and decide which card would you lead in each of those situations. Okay, let's end the poll there and let's have a look at the results. And for the first part, most of you have gone for the king with king, queen, 10, 7, 6. That counts as a near three card sequence and you're right to lead the king. But the second part where you've got the king, queen, 7, 5, 4, that's just a two card sequence and we revert to leading the fourth highest. These are considered standard leads and if you're uh, if you got any of those wrong do have a look at this uh, table there of standard leads to remind yourself about those leads so if i switch back to the uh, show we can i'll fill in this table here that if you have a three card sequence you leave the top of a sequence both against no trump and a suit if you have a three card near sequence that's specifically King, Queen, 10 um, here. So missing the jack, but having the 10, you again lead the king, both against no trump and against the suit. But if you just have a two card sequence, it's normal to lead fourth highest against no trump, but top of the two card sequence against a suit. And the same applies if your two card sequence is ace, king. Uh, you lead the ace against the suit, but it's normal to lead the five, uh, sorry, the fourth highest against a no Trump contract. By the way, for anyone watching this uh, video on YouTube, um, I'm. This is really talking about Akol, uh, how people play when they are playing the Akol system. Although Akol is nothing to do with opening leads, um, it in it's traditional in the United States to make slightly different leads. And specifically, um, in the United States, it's normal to lead the king from any ace-king holding. So there's a slight difference, which may not apply to you if you are playing traditional uh, American uh, system of bidding and play. But uh, for for the rest of us, this, this is what we would lead in all situations. And the interesting thing I want to highlight there, which I've done in red, is that against no trump um, playing these standard leads, you only lead the king from a three card sequence or a three card near sequence, king, queen, jack, or king, queen, 10. Okay, so that's basic 
um, basically to the king. Do interrupt me if you have any questions about that. Now, if you do lead um, the king, let's imagine you you lead the king from a holding like this. You've got the king, queen, 10, 8, 7. And again, this is all against no trump. Um, then when you play the king, then regardless of whether South wins this trick with the ace or not, you would quite like to know as West who has the jack. Because if your partner has it, that means this suit is now almost certainly ready to run. Uh, whereas if Declarer has it, then this is could be a dangerous suit for you to lead again because it would give away a trick to the jack. So what we do when your partner leads the king is we, uh, if we have an honor like the jack here, we should play it. And I hope you can see in this situation here, by you playing the jack, um, it may seem like a waste, but it clears up the position for your partner. So if they gain the lead later on, they will be able now to take all the remaining tricks in this suit. Okay. Conversely, if you have an if you don't have an honor, then of course you won't play it. Um, so, for example, if the layout is something like this. Your uh, your partner leads the king. Um, you don't have the jack here, so you won't play it. But what you do play is um, a card to give a count signal to your partner. And the way it works is when your partner leads the king against no trump, if you don't have an honor, you give a count signal. You play a high card to show you started with an even number of cards or a low card to show you started with an odd number of cards. And this may help your partner figure out what's going on in the suit. We'll look at some examples of that in a moment. Um, so if I started with three cards in the suit, the nine, six, five, and my partner leads the king, I would play the five there to show that I started with an odd number of cards in the suit. Do interrupt me if you have any questions on this. Um, there are other situations where it's a good idea to uh, play your honor if you have one and here is one where your partner leads the king if you've got um the ace and the five can you see that you want to play it you need to play it to unblock so that you will then be able to return this suit and you will take the first five tricks if you make the mistake of not playing your ace then you'll win the second trick with your ace and then you'll be stuck you may be able to get to your partner in another suit but um, at the moment, you unless you can do that, you'll just make the two tricks in this suit. Um, so in this situation, you should unblock with the ace unless you can see this would cost a trick. And I've got an example of a situation where uh, it may cost a trick and, and you should not play your ace coming up later. But uh, in general, you should play an, uh, your honor if you have it. Now, because we now have introduced a rule that says that when your partner leads the king, you should play an honor, we can extend, and this is part of standard ACOL play, although it's slightly advanced, we can extend the times that we would lead a king to a situation like this. If you've got ace, king, jack, 10, you really um, want to find out who's got the queen. So again, we can if we leave the king and we're following the rule that the instruction is for my partner to play an honor if they have one, then your partner will play the queen and that will clear up the situation for you. You will now know that the suit is ready to run and you can take all four tricks there. Um, so this is a deviation from the standard rules or an addition to it, if you like, that in in various in a few situations like this you can lead the king uh, to get your partner to play an honor if they have one. If they don't have an honor, uh, for example, if they've just got the nine, four, three, then of course they won't play one and they will give you a count signal here. So on this second layout here, if they play the three here, that looks like an odd card, uh, sorry, a low card. And that if that indicates that they started with three cards in the suit, that means declarer started with three cards, including the queen. And can you see in this situation, you should not carry on with a second spade. You will give declarer a trick with a queen if you continue with this suit. So 
I would lead the king here. And then if my partner gives a signal that probably indicates they started with an odd number of cards, it's best now to switch to another suit. Of course, if your partner later gets in, they should switch back to spades. Um, and then you'll be able to make the remaining spade tricks without giving away a trick. Um, just a couple of things to note. Um, don't lead the king from a holding like this. If you've got the king queen, that's a two card sequence. And it would be a bad mistake to lead the king in that situation. Against no trump, what would happen is that your partner would play the jack, declare it can win the ace, and now declare it gets another trick because they've got the 10 9 left. Of course, the right card to lead um, there is the fourth highest, the seven. Your partner will play the jack, and that will force out the ace. And then when you get in, you'll be able to take the remaining tricks. Um, so just to summarize what we've talked about so far, the lead of a king is a, against no trump only, is an instruction for your partner to play an honor, honor if they have one. Otherwise, they should give you a count signal. High card indicates an even number they started off with, or a low card indicates an odd number that they started off with. And this is the same as count signal used in other situations. Uh, high shows an even number and low shows an odd number. So if we switch back to the screen we started with, we can now add in these extra um, holdings, which I've put at the bottom here. And these are all now additional situations where it makes sense to lead the king against no trump. So in addition to the first two, which we looked at, Holdings like this, ace, king, jack, 10, ace, king, queen, 10. This is another holding where we want to find out who's got the honor. And even a holding like this, ace, king, jack, five, four. Ideally, you want at least five cards there um, to avoid losing a trick there. But you lead the king in the hopes that you'll find out who's got the queen in particular. Um, uh, um, you, you're interested in finding that, who's got the queen there. Um, just Sorry, before, can I ask yeah, a question. Yeah, if you lead the king, your partner will think you haven't got the ace. <laughs> right. So if you lead the king, so if all your partner knows is the first part of this, the first two lines, your partner will assume you don't have the ace. But I am now saying that it is standard play to also lead the king against no trump in these situations. Oh, okay. So so prior to this lesson yes you may well have decided to lead the ace king queen uh from ace king queen 10 you would lead the ace but i'm saying now you should not do that um as long as your partner understands because the lead of a king is specifically uh done hit on holding like this to find out who's got the jack and that will help you um uh, uh decide whether to continue with this suit there are situations where you should still lead the ace when you have an ace king. And this is perhaps one of them. Imagine the bidding has gone one heart by south, one spade, one no trump. So you're on lead against um, one no trump. And well, your best suit is heart, but you really don't want to lead a heart, which was a suit that south bid. You're not very keen on leading a spade either. Um, but if you decide here to lead a diamond, um, the right diamond to lead here is the ace. And when you lead the ace, you are asking your partner to give um, an attitude signal. So the, the right card to lead here, if you lead a diamond, is the ace. And when you play the ace, you're looking to see whether your partner encourages or not. If they've got the queen, for example, they should play a highish card and you'll be able to carry on with the king and then cross over to their, uh, their diamond suit. So just to add to the previous slide, the lead of a king versus no trump is an instruction for your partner to play an honor if they have one or otherwise give a count signal. But the lead of an ace against no trump asks for an attitude signal, the normal signal, if you like. And there they should play high to encourage or low to discourage. And this is this whole system which is part of standard ACL, but slightly advanced, is sometimes called the, the ace is for attitude, king is for count. In other words, when you lead the ace against no trump, you want an attitude signal. 
when you lead the king, you want your partner to play an honor if they have one or otherwise give you a count signal. So that's, that's a summary of, of that. Um, I should just point out there is um, perhaps one situation um, or there may be others where you should not um, follow this. If your partner, for example, has led the king and down comes dummy with the jack three two, I hope you can see that leading the uh, playing the ace here would be giving a declarer a trick because your partner there, when they lead the king, you can tell that they must have the king queen uh, ten in this situation, or they wouldn't have led the king. So if you play the ace here, now declarer will make a trick with a jack. So this is the kind of holding when there's an honor in dummy and it makes sense not to play the uh not to play the ace here what's going to happen if you play um if you play low here is that your partner who's got something like this will assume that you don't have the ace and they will quite possibly they might may decide to to switch to another suit the other possibility on this particular layout, however, is that if uh, if you play the four, your partner will think that's an odd number. And if you've got five, if they've got five, you've got uh, three. Th uh, three in dummy means that there were only two in the south hand. So they may decide that declarer has the uh, has the ace as their last card, and they could play a low card there hoping to force out the ace. So this particular layout would probably work out all right if they took the win the trick with the king, then play a low spade over to your ace, and then you'd play a spade back. But I hope you can see if you played the ace on the king here, that would give declare an extra trick because they, they're now going to make a trick with their jack. So that's the one time that this doesn't work out very well, and you should not play the ace if you can see it's going to cost a trick and that's normally when there's an honor like the jack in dummy just um you know just to clarify if the jack weren't in dummy if the jack were in the south hand here then it would be all right for you to overtake you would overtake lead the suit back and then the jack would be trapped because your partner's got the queen and the ten left so um so that's what i wanted to look at in terms of the slideshow um, I'd like to switch now to some actual hands and we can have a look at uh, at some of these hands as, as a whole and try and make a decision about how to play these. So here's one where South has opened one no trump, that's a weak no trump, and North raised to three no trump. And the normal lead here is the king of spades, top of a near sequence. And down comes dummy, and when um, dummy appears, uh, let's suppose they play low from dummy, your partner plays the seven, and declarer plays the six. And you have to now try and figure out what's going on. And in particular, you need to try to figure out where the jack is. Well, you know where the jack is because east doesn't have it. If East had had it, they would should have played it. So Declarer has the uh, started with the jack in their hand. And the other thing to think about is how many cards do you think, um, how the spades are, are laid out? Now, let's think about it. We started with five cards. There were three in dummy, so that's eight. There are five cards remaining between the East and the South hands, and those may well be divided three in one hand and two in the other. Now, can we tell whether that seven from your partner is high or low? Well, it looks high. And in fact, there are there is um, at least one card lower than it, uh, still unaccounted for, and that's the two. So if that is high, that means they started with two cards. That means Declara started with three cards, including the jack, so I hope you can see that in this layout, you should not carry on with um, spades because you'll be giving declarer a trick with the jack. In fact, if I bring up the four hands here, 
we can see this is the layout we're worried about. And if I click on the GIB button, it's actually telling me that if I lead a spade, not a spade now, declarer can make an overtree. Whereas if I switch to any other suit, I can we can actually defeat declarer. So it's not clear what to switch to. I might decide to switch to a club here um, and declarer can win that and might start playing heart. Let's suppose they win the first trick. Let's suppose you win the second trick with the ace and the same thing applies now. You must not switch back to a spade. If your partner had gained a trick, they could have played a spade, but you shouldn't do it. You should uh, switch to another suit. You might try another club, or maybe you try a diamond. Again, Declara wins that and can uh, take their remaining heart tricks here. Okay. Um, but at some point, Declara, if you don't lead spades, will have to play the spades themselves. And if they lead, for example, the nine, you can see that you can just play the 10 here. That will force out the ace. And now Declara doesn't make a second spade trick. Whatever they play now, they can make a seventh trick and an eighth trick in clubs, but they're probably now going to lose the, the rest, either to your spades or to your partner, what they've had. Here, your partner wins the, uh, the clubs and the diamonds, and Declara only makes um, eight tricks there. So Declara started off with, I think, uh, just uh, eight tricks here. And unless you give him a, another spade trick, uh, that's all he should be able to make. Do Trump, if you've got some questions. Let's try this one. Here, um, again, it's gone, it's got there in three no trump, it went two no trump, three no trump. And this is one of the new holdings where we've got ace king jack seven three, where instead of maybe leading the ace top of a near sequence, we're going to lead the king because we want to find out who's got the queen. So we lead the king here and Again, my partner plays the uh, plays a high card, the eight, which looks like it might be an even number of cards. So again, I started with five. There were three in dummy. And if my partner's eight is high and indicates two cards, that means that South started off with three cards, including the queen. And I hope you can see in that situation, you do not want to carry on with uh, diamonds here or you will give a trick to declare with a queen. So you might switch to another suit and suppose you try a club and suppose your partner wins the king. Well, if I bring up the four hands now, now your partner is in with the king and although it was very bad for you to lead a diamond, it's fine for your partner to lead a diamond. So anytime your partner leads the king and then stops, it's because they've got some kind of holding like this. And if you gain the lead, as you have done here, it's fine for you to play a diamond. Um, and if you play uh, five, if Declara plays the nine, your partner can win it with a jack, take the ace and take the remaining two diamonds. So played this way, um, Declara will lose six tricks and we'll just play out the rest of the hand and, and we'll go down two in two no trump. Okay, so... I hope you can see it was quite, um, uh, it would be a mistake for you to, to carry on in diamonds one, once your partner gives you a count signal and indicates that they don't have the queen. Let's try this one here. And you, uh, again, it's one no trump, three no trump here. And you've got a very good lead of a spade here. Now you might, think you should just start off with the ace of spades here but if you lead the king of spades it's an instruction for your partner to play the jack if they have it so if they play the two that means they don't have the jack and the other thing you need to think about is how many spades did your partner start off with well that two is obviously there a low card and if they started off with three spades um, that means that you started off with four, dummy started off with three. That means that South 
started off with three spades, including the jack. And that means you can take um, all the spades if that's the case, okay? There's one other possibility that that two is a singleton. And if it is, then South would have started with five spades, including the jack. Um, however, you will find that out when you play the next spade. So if you play another spade here and your partner plays the four and then the nine, now you know that there's uh, just two spades left and there's one in each hand. So you can play the queen taking the jack and then the 10. Okay, so played that way, you will make uh, four tricks on, uh, you'll make the first four spades on this hand. Um, Declarer is going to get in now and will take the rest, but you'll hold him to nine tricks uh, by taking those first four spade tricks. Let's try this one. And I've got a poll for you on this one coming up. Here, this time you've got the ace, king, queen, 10, and you lead the king. Your partner plays the seven, and Declarer plays the nine. And uh, my poll question for you is what should you play at trick two? Are you going to play another spade, the ace, queen, or the 10, or are you going to switch to another suit? So have a little think about it. And in a moment, I'll launch the final poll of the afternoon. It requires you to think about what the seven shows and whether you're going to carry on with another spade. Let me end the poll there. And most of you have gone for the ace of spades, 52%. But uh, about half of you have suggested going to another suit, a heart, a club, or a diamond. So uh, let's see if we can figure this out. Well, that seven looks like it's uh, possibly a high card. Um, and if it is, it should be a two-card suit or uh, could possibly be a four-card suit. So let's think about the, the possibilities. We started with four cards, and there were three in dummy. That's seven. So there are six between east and south, and it looks, based on that seven, that those are either divided, uh, those are going to be divided two, four. Um, also, your partner doesn't have the jack, so South has it. And either your partner started with four, which would leave South starting with two, or vice versa. And in the case that Declara started with four, you don't really want to carry on with this suit, um, uh, playing the ace and then the king, because it will set up the jack. But you will find out what, what the layout is if you cash another spade. So here we play another spade and your partner plays low, but this time Declara has to play the jack. And obviously that meant they started with two and it was your partner that started with four. So you can take the queen and then the 10. And again, you can make the first uh, four tricks that way. Uh, uh, after that, I think Declara is going to get in and we'll make the rest of the tricks, but you held them to nine tricks by making those four tricks there. Now, it's possible on this same hand that you've got when you play the king, that if your partner plays a seven and Declara plays the two, again, you know that Declara's got the jack here. If we now play the ace, and when we play the four, Declara plays a six, we now know what was going on was that your partner was signaling high, low, because they started with two cards in the suit, which means that Declara started with four cards, including the jack. So Declara has two spades left, and you must not now carry on with another spade, or you'll give Declara a trick with a jack. So this is the layout, and 
you you should now switch to another suit. So let's suppose you shift to a club. The cleric can win that and will probably take all their uh, diamonds to start off with. Okay. And then they can cash some hearts. Okay. Um, but uh, they can take a club now. They've made eight tricks now. But you haven't helped them by giving them a trick with a spade. So whatever happens now, I hope you can see that if they if they let a spade, you would take two spades now. If they lead a heart, your partner plays a 10, you get in. And you actually now um, are going to uh, give declare a trick. You you can't help it. The way it way it the way it went, you can make one more trick, but then you have to lead a spade and declare finally makes their their jack. So um, this was a, a tricky one. You ended up winning a trick that you didn't really want to win, and you ended up having to play away from your your spade. So declare played that well and did what call what's called end playing you. So in the end, they had to make a trick with their jack because they they threw you. You, you got him with your queen of hearts and. Uh, there wasn't anything you could do about it at that stage. Any comments on that? So just um, try and remember the the main thing about these kinds of new holdings where it's worth thinking about leading the king so that your partner will play an honour if they have it to help you figure out whether the suit, uh, you should continue with that suit or not. Anyone have any questions on that? We'll We'll end the talk there.